Hey guys, so you asked for it and here it is. This is going to be my everyday foundation routine, specifically geared towards the winter months because I use a variation of products than I would use for the summertime just because in the colder months, your skin needs a little bit more extra care. It's not as oily if you have oily skin, which I do have oily skin, so I wouldn't use as many products in the summertime. So this is specifically for winter time. So it would be suited for most skin types, I would say, except like extremely dry and sensitive skin. Um, it's just my everyday look that I would wear out when I want to look pulled together and fresh but without looking overdone. I wear this to work every day and yeah the only thing I'd probably switch up is the blush and maybe the lips but stay tuned if you want to see how I do my everyday foundation routine from start to finish. So we wake up and we may not be that glamorous but so what? Pull your hair back and let's make it happy. First, I'm going to cleanse my face using my Gentle Foaming Cleanser from Clarins, and this is for combination oily skin. And I'm going to get a little bit of that. You don't need that much, but you get the gist. Get some of that on your hands and get into washing your face. I like to do this in the shower, but for the sake of this video, obviously I'm doing it at the sink. So just get around all the areas that you may have a little bit of extra makeup or something, and then rinse it off. And then we're going to dab at our face. I'm not rubbing my face. I'm just dabbing the excess moisture off because it's good to have just a little bit left on my skin. Then the next step, I'm going to go ahead and get my Caudalie Beauty Elixir and I'm going to spritz it over my face. Just three spritz and let that sink in. I'm going to use my hands just to dab it in just a little bit. Then we're going to start with our eyebrows. The first thing I'm going in with is my eyeshadow helper from Lime Plum. This is an eyeshadow primer, but I'm going to use it for my brows because it helps the, eye, the eyebrow product to stay put all day without getting oily and greasy and smudging. Apply that to my brows and blend it in. Then I'm also going to go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This is the anti-aging version. And put it on my lids and rub that in just because I want to make sure that my eyelids don't get oily throughout the day. Then I'm going in with an eyebrow brush just to distribute the product through my eyebrows and make sure that all those hairs get coated with the eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to fill in my brows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. First I'm going to brush the eyebrows through with the spoolie end and then I'm going to fill my eyebrows in with the actual pencil. I'm going to do this to both sides. I actually have a detailed eyebrow video, so I'll leave the link below. I'll link it in the video as well. And you can see how I fill in my brows normally. This is a very natural look for me. Well, it may not be that nat natural for everyone, but it's natural for me. And I'm going to blend in the product with my eye definer brush from Paula Dorf. And this is going to help fade the color out at the beginning of the brow and throughout the brow so it doesn't leave any harsh lines and look crazy. And that's the brows. Then of course I'm just going to seal my eyebrows with my Anastasia Brow Gel. And this is just a clear brow gel to make sure that my brow hairs stay in place where I put them and don't move around throughout the day. Next I'm starting out with my face. I'm using my Peter Thomas Roth Viz 1000 Serum. This is a great serum to start out with. It helps make sure that your moisturizer and everything gets really absorbed into your skin well. I'm just going to dab that over my skin and rub it in and let it set for a little bit. Then I'm going in with my eye cream. This is my Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes because, hey, we need eye cream to make sure those little bags and wrinkles don't happen. My moisturizer of choice is my Ultralight Oil-Free Moisturizer from Peter Thomas Roth. And I'm using a bit of that. And I'm going to blend that in all over my skin. Don't forget the forehead. And let that sink in for a bit, followed by my base from Chanel. This is the Sheer Illuminating Base. And I'm going to apply that with the little applicator that keeps it hygienic and just distribute that all over my skin. Let that set for a little bit. Then I'm going to go with my foundation. This is Lingerie de Peau and my shade is number 24. And I'm using my foundation brush from Sephora and I'm going to blend that all over my skin making sure I get all the little ridges and this brush is perfect for that because of the shape it gets under your eyes really nicely and around your nose. So blend that in. Don't forget to blend some down on your neck and definitely don't forget your forehead area. 
and I use the brush to go around my brows too which is really great because of the shape it does that really well once that's blended in I'm going in with my under eye concealer this is the radiant creamy concealer from NARS in the shade caramel and I'm gonna apply that in dabs underneath my eyes and I'm gonna actually leave it there for a minute just to get thicker while I do my contour this is the Iman stick foundation in earth one and i'm going to just apply this to my contour and blend it in with that same angled brush from sephora and apply some to my forehead as well just to give my face some dimension because the foundation can take some of that away then i'm going to blend out my concealer with my fingers so just dab it in under your eyes then go in of course with your beauty blender dampen beauty blender and blend all that foundation in, all the contour and all the concealer. I'm making sure to blend out all the harsh lines so it isn't obvious that we're wearing foundation and it will look more natural. Then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And I'm gonna apply loads of this to my upper and lower lashes because of course we want our eyes to stand out just a bit. Then this is a key step, especially if you have oily skin. I'm taking a sheet of tissue and I'm separating them into single ply and using one ply to absorb the excess oil or product that may be on my skin. And this is going to help make sure that your foundation is long lasting throughout wear. So I'm just dabbing off the excess product before I apply my powder. And this is Tan Sand from Tarte. And I'm using their Kabuki brush to apply this. And I'm just going to set the areas under my eye and my nose and my t-zone just to make sure that I set that foundation in place so it doesn't budge throughout wear. Then of course I want to add some color back to my face. I'm going to use my optical bronzer from MAC. This is a discontinued product. It was limited edition but it's just a pinky bronze shade and I'm going to apply that with my Suku cheek brush to make sure that it's a very light flush on my cheeks and not an intense color. So I'm just going to dust that over the tops of my cheeks to make sure that her face has a little bit of color and it brings a little life back to her face. And that's it guys! Okay guys, so there you have it. That's my everyday foundation routine. Let me know if this was helpful for you and any other video requests that you may have. Leave them in a comment below. I do read all the comments. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing and supporting me. I really appreciate it, especially in this new year when I'm going to try to make really short videos and to the point. We'll see how that goes. As usual, below you'll see in the description box links to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts so you can keep up with me there. And until the next video, I'll see ya. Bye.